thinking about expanding your Netscaler MPX 5500 or use it for your own purposes? Well guess what? There is a built-in video chip, an ATI chip, but you may be asking, hey I opened it up, I couldn't find a video port. Pom pom pom. You have to remove the front paneling. There's several small screws. There is a video port. And if you boot up, pom pom pom. There's your display. You don't need to go through the serial port if you ha you can't get to it. Plug in a USB keyboard, and now. you can control it for example without having to go through this although you can have access through the serial port as well at the same time See that? Pretty nice. This is a really cool machine and I'm going to be playing with it some more. Oh, I upgraded the memory. As long as you populate two at a time, the same memory, it supports... What does it support? According to the document here, up to 48 gigabytes of buffered registered ECC DDR2-667 or 533 megahertz but you want to use all the same speed this is N90X continuing to deconstruct the MPX 5500 for other uses these things are going to be end of life in a year and I'm sure there's going to be hundreds of them available on eBay, really cheap. Already you're starting to see some of them trickle out, trickle out. And a lot of possibility for adding things, beefing it up. There are six SATA ports. There are actually five USB ports. Some of them are hidden or not connected. There's a lot of stuff that you potentially can do. Even though it is a small 1U server, there's a lot that you can do with this thing. Please subscribe to this channel for more about reverse engineering, or not really reverse engineering, but modifying your hardware for other uses. This is N90X signing off, and we'll see you on the next video.